Welcome back to Grey Matter. We have just begun chapter 6. Previously, we, uh, in the, well, in the last chapter, we did the, um, third? Third experiment, where we actually, instead of taking part of the experiment, we hid in the location the experiment was about, and we saw that there was actually no one there. But then, Professor Stiles, or Dr. Stiles, actually showed up. So yeah, things are getting interesting. And uh, Houdini got out of his cage again somehow. Well, he's living up to his name, I guess. Let's head down and uh, see if Mrs. Dalton has anything to say. She usually has something to say in the beginning of the day. Maybe she'll tell us what we need to do. Give us our... Uh, uh, assignment for today. Well, I know one thing. We are uh, d David. Doctor Styles told us that we needed to check up on Helena and Angela. I think her name is Angela, the Irish or Scottish. Is she Irish or is she Scottish? Oh God! I just insulted two people, groups of people there. I see. <laughs> uh, but I think she's Irish. Or is she Scottish? I can't even remember her accent right now. Anyway. Mrs. Dalton. Huh. Wonder where Mrs. Dalton got to. Ah. Now we can snoop in the kitchen. Or not. I wonder where Mrs. Dalton is. Let's look for her. She might just be cleaning, after all, I guess. I don't know if she actually does the cleaning. I know she cooks. But there doesn't seem to any be any other people employed, and I... I really can't see Dr. Styles uh, cleaning. He doesn't look like the type. I think she is like an all-around... Although, one person to clean all of this, so that would be a... Uh, that would be horrible. So can I enter this now? <laughs> you okay there? Oh god, are we... Okay. I don't actually think you can answer that, anyway. Let's head into the lab instead. She See if she's down there. She might be cleaning the lab. Someone needs to do that. I, I would imagine that a place like this, uh, the basement area... Oh! Hello! What's this? Oh, my! Oh, you about gave me a heart attack, young lady. <laughs> Sorry. Who's this guy? Who's this? Yeah, I was asking that, too. Dr. Hellborn, this is Samantha Everett. Hellborn. Dr. Stiles' new assistant. Sam, this is Dr. Hellborn. Assistant? Really? Yeah, what? and who are you? Well, I'll leave you two to get acquainted. I've got work to do. If that had been himself, my goose would have been cooked. Should never have let you talk me into it. Honestly. Oh, uh, they're having an affair. Probably not. I like how she was... I ask again. Who are you? I could have sworn Mrs. Dalton answered that. My name is Simon Hellborn. I'm an old friend of David's. Sounds like you and I have a few things to talk about, Sam. Really now? Yeah, what I was about to say is I like how Mrs. Dalton refers to Dr. Stiles as himself. That's pretty cool. I don't know why. Uh, uh mm, piece of paper. What? David's doctor? Doctor, let's just do this. You put a piece of paper in your pocket as you came out of the lab. Find something interesting in there? Nothing I'm at liberty to discuss. What? You thief. Give me that. Put the paper back. Locked door. So what's behind the door? I know. The door? That door. David's private lab. And you were in there because? <laughs> I can see why you get on with him. I'm looking out for a friend, Sam. Speaking of which, have you noticed David acting unusual lately? You mean he has behavior that isn't unusual? <laughs> Good comment. Uh, or answer, I guess. David's doctor. Are you David's doctor? No. I offered, but he doesn't want to be treated. But there's nothing wrong with him, right? 
other than the fact that he must have loved his wife very much. I'd like to show you something. Come here. Oh, that sounded really weird. Come here. Sit down on that stool there. Why? Is that like a, a brief secret, demonstration? A secret passage if I sit down and the whole bookcase, I mean wine case, will flip around? Very good. Now put your hands under the table on your lap. Watch the tabletop. He's you're a doing magician. the exact same motions on my hand as you're doing on the tabletop. Just watch. Ow! What did you feel? Nothing, but I just had the impression you were going to smash my hand. That's the power of association. Because you saw the counter being tapped and stroked, and you felt the identical sensations on your hand, your brain began to link the counter and your hand. We can become associated with anything, an object, a place, or another person. When you become deeply associated with someone and they die, in a way, your brain is saying, this person is dead, I am this person, so I must be dead too. And David was that connected with Laura? David adored Laura. But in his case, the association is compounded by guilt. Huh. Well, that was a little weird, the whole table thing, but okay. Um, the accident. Does David feel guilty because he was driving the car the night of the accident? No. David was thrown from the car. He was perfectly fine. That can be very hard to accept. Oh, God. He got burnt trying to save Laura? Do you know that when a fire burns like that, a petrol fire, it's so hot that just getting within three feet of it can be like holding your hand in a flame. No sane person can make themselves walk into a fire like that. But he did, right? He did everything humanly possible, but to David it will never be enough. Huh. Anything unusual? What do you mean by David acting unusual. For instance, talking to someone who isn't there or seeing things. David isn't crazy. Okay. No, but he doesn't sleep much and sleep deprivation can cause hallucination. If you're talking about the things happening on campus, they're really happening. I've investigated them myself. On campus? What things? Oops. Um, what things are you talking about? I really can't discuss that with you. Confidentiality. So there's nothing you want to tell me? Nope. No, I shouldn't reveal what I've learned as David's assistant. Very well. Goodbye, Sam. I don't really... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to see you out. No need. I know the house well. Ah, Thank you. She, she, she took something. I'm pretty sure she stole something from her pocket. With any luck, Dr. Hellborn won't notice that the paper he put in his pocket <laughs> is missing until he's back at his office. Let's oh. see what it says. Yes! Oh my god! David's been seeing Laura in the house, but he's not hallucinating. I saw Laura on the stairs myself. This is worse than I thought. They're doing things in the house too, and making him think it's Laura. That's just sick. I have to find out what's going on. She still think it's a trick? But when you think of it, you, we were there in the gym. There was no one present, and the thing started flying through the air, the weights, and one of them even hit Sam. We didn't see anybody, so... I don't know. Samantha saw Laura at the top of the stairs at uh, in the foyer. Foyer? Uh, she was wearing the white dress. Laura physically touched me this morning while I showered. Her hand touched me and moved as if alive. Lasted about three seconds. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my my mind went somewhere else. <laughs> that lasted. Oh, sorry, that was uh, this could mis misinterpreted. I I apologize. My mind was kind of in the gutter there. Oh my god, I have a lot of shit. Can I not? Ah, uh, oh, I should have like somewhere to put this. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a, it's a light. I think I saw that earlier as well. Oh, can I enter that now? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, do I have a to-do list? What if I look at her notebook? Sam's diary. 
No, that's just, uh, yeah, that's just telling me what happened. Let's see if Mrs. Dalton has anything to say now. I know that I need to talk to Angela and Helena. Is that mine? None other. Wait, what's mine? Oh, the food. Is there right. a fire this morning? What? Some people don't eat when they're upset. Upset? About what? Um, fire? Just stressed about classes. Well, this might cheer you up. The repair shop dropped off your bike this morning. Ooh. It's out by the garage and running fine. Really? Nice. Yes, really. <laughs> you won't mention this morning's activity to himself, I trust. What morning's activity? Thank you. No, I mean what? What are you talking about? That was the best. Thank you. Wait. Pleasure, Sam. She ate the dinner from there? Wow. Oh. Okay. Um, let's go look at the bike, then. <laughs> would be kind of weird if I completed this game today, because that would mean the third, third game, you know, in this week. But I don't think I am. But I, I, I don't actually know how long this is. I mean, if we're going through all of the ex experiments... Phone... Linkwiller here. Schnookums, it's me, Shell. Shelly, <clears throat> I hope you're not cancelling on me tonight. I bought a lovely bottle of champagne. Mm, and it's bridge night for your wife, I know. Actually, I'm calling about class. You know that paper that's due tomorrow? Well, I'm going to be just a few days late. Muffy was sick last night and I was up all hours. It must be this new cat food. You know how sensitive our tummy is. <laughs> Shell, uh, you know I can't show favoritism. Well, if I can't be late, then I'll have to work on the paper tonight. Guess we'll see each other next week, then. Aha! This isn't exactly what I hoped for, but it might come in handy. Thanks, Schnook. Did she just say that out loud? So, the, I bucked the... There was been a... The, I, I didn't actually expect the buck to be like calling her phone well, that's quite impressive huh what was I saying oh yeah I, I was about to say if I if all of the experiments needed to be shown in the game then it's quite long so Dr. Linkvella is having an affair with someone called Shelly do I know who that is wait is that the woman next door to Linkvella's office is her name Shelly? The, the secretary thing, or whatever she is? She might be named Shelly. I guess we'll find out later. Let's uh, go look at my bike. Oh, we're loading. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're actually going somewhere? I, I didn't expect to go somewhere. Oh, she's just testing it. Okay. And it didn't cost me a dime. Yay! Well, I'm not sure anyone has ever done anything that nice for me. Jeez, I'm such a friggin' pushover. I think she has a crush on Dr. Styles. After all, she was very, very fast at uh, defending him. <laughs> David isn't crazy. Also, she called him David. Not Dr. Styles. Yeah, I think she ha has a thing for him. I don't know. Let's uh, see where today brings us. It brings us everywhere. Oh, Christ. It brings us everywhere except the University Museum. Um, well, since we just uh, got a call from uh, Linkwella, let's actually return to the Radcliffe Infirmary. Get a little infirmed. I don't know what that means. So Susan. Oh, well, her name was Susan. So that's not Shelley. Who the fuck is Shelley? Maybe her name is Susan Shelley. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I went in there. But in, we need to do something here. So her name is Susan. What? Whittier. According to the plaque on the. 
According to the. Oh, I want to talk to. Okay, there's nothing to do in here. Ah, uh, sorry for bothering me. I mean, bothering you. <laughs> she must be confused to walk in there, look at her nameplate, and then leave. Let's enter the doctor's office. Oh. Enter. Enter. Be tough, Sam. Yeah, press enter. Hmm. Hello. Whoa. Huge office, actually. Yes? What can I do for you? My name is Sam Everett. I work for Dr. Stiles. How unfortunate. <laughs> what do you want with me? I want you to leave Stiles alone. Ah, he's about as left alone as any human being can be. I happen to know that you're still obsessed with him and trying to ruin him with these stunts you're pulling on campus. I'm telling you to lay off. Because if you don't, I'll tell your wife about the affair you're having with Shelley. What? What are you playing at? I'm not playing. Try me. Listen, girl, I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. But you try to blackmail me and I'll have you expelled so fast you'll be on the ten o'clock train. Up to you. Your wife will still find out. If you're talking about the... <laughs> The gossip I spread, that was years ago, after the accident. Stiles has dug his own grave, disappearing as he has. You can't put that on me. Really? Then why is your graduate student involved in Stiles' new experiment? I know exactly what you and Malik are up to. What? Yeah, I don't... Malik. In the experiment. I think you're wrong, to be What's honest. What's this? Oops. Um... <laughs> he found the bug. And he threw it Young away. lady, you have five seconds to get out of this office before I call campus security. Uh, I never really thought it was him. We hadn't had any real reason to suspect him other than him not really liking Dr. Stiles. But other than that, not really much. Yeah... That went well, Sam. Good job. Let's leave. Like the statue. And that just because it's a topless woman. But because it's pretty cool. Oh, so that was it for this. Um Oh, we still got the uh the uh the uh um, thingamajig. Also known as the the riddle. I can't remember what it's called, but let's just go to Christ Church. I mean, no, I, c I can't really ma remember what the next clue was. Why did I go here? This wasn't where I was wanted to go, I forgot. I wanted to actually go to um, that other place. I just forgot what they what, that this was. This. Where's the riddle? There we go. It was brilliant and slightly toes. Wow. Or the sea railer swall. It all began with the Cheshire chat at Alice Little's pose. Doo Doo Dodgson cracked his egg, and the Queen screamed off with their shade. That doesn't that say egg, this is gag. I misread that because it's. Uh, yeah, okay. The dogs on fire ate their nags. Down necks as long as the chimney max. Find Alice, she's close at Na, at na Nat, Nat, follow well her sa Sage, find Sage, find the rabbit if you knack, can, and enter the name of the mage. It's the Sea Railer Swole Riddle from the Black Wand. We... Oh, we had another clue, actually. We found in the Alice in Wonderland store. This one. Hogwarts School of Wizardry, no, Witchcraft and Wizardry. And we found this at the museum. Hogwarts? This must point to a location in Oxford. Maybe someplace used in the film. I wonder where I could get that information. Yeah, that's it, that's it. But where... Where can I get that information? I don't see... You, I have something to do here. I can t see that. But I really don't feel like that's where I want to go now. This is actually where I wanted to go. But... 
Let's go here instead. Talk to Helena, because I think that is part of what we need to do today. So we need to... Maybe I can find some kind of um, tourist booth, information booth. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. Loading. Uh, hello, hello. Give us a minute, will ya? Wait, what? What are you talking about? How are you today? Right as rain. Just wanted to see some ID. I, I showed it to you yesterday. Then it shouldn't be a problem to show it to me again, should uh -oh. it? Oh. That's life. It ain't over till it's really absolutely over. Cheery thought. Here you go. He's gonna notice that something is wrong now. Isn't he? Miss Helena Bogard. Hmm. Odd. Let's look you up, shall no, we? No, please don't. Did you hear that they caught the person who played that prank in the pool the other night? And the one at the track? You don't say. Who was it? One of our residents? No. It was a teacher from Christchurch. Apparently, he's gone a bit bonkers. What? Yeah. They caught him running around in his underwear over in the Christchurch fountain, claiming to be Poseidon. <laughs> I think he teaches Greek history or something. What's his name? I know a lot of the professors. Fremantle, furred mantle, dismantle... No, that's not it. <laughs> There's a winter mantle, but I think he teaches at Briars. That could be it, do you think? Well, I have to run... I absolutely have to tell my friend about this. What was I looking up? Ah, winter mental. <laughs> Distraction. Wait, was that Angela? Oh. Um. Oh, she spied on us. She heard stuff. Uh oh, she knows something is up. Hmm. Hall. Let's enter Helena's room. See if she's Helena? in. Helena? Helena? No one's home. Oh well. Uh, there's, wait, who's this? That's Jeannie Smith's room. Oh yeah, we don't need to talk to Jeannie Smith. Wait, where am I going? I'm actually, no, 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 go back, go back. I wanna. I was going to see Helena and Angela. Helena isn't there, and Angela, I just saw. Oh, and she's gone again. Let's enter the gymnasium, since that is where the last incident was. See if there's anything there. Maybe people are investigating it. Oh, it's as if nothing has happened. Locker room. Can I answer this? That was a good plan last night. This illusionist is much more sophisticated than I thought. Damn it. Uh, okay, I can't answer that. Can I look at this guy? Man. <laughs> they look like students. I don't think they were involved in the stunt last night. They? There's only one. That's his mirror image. Okay, so we don't actually have to in investigate the incident. That seems. was a good plan last oh, night. No, I wanted to leave. Excuse me. Hmm. Where did Angela go? Maybe she went outside. Run. Angela? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. 